Hey everyone, Steven, Bama Saltwater here. Obviously, I'm out on the boat and it is a very windy day, but I'm gonna try to cast net some bait. I'm excited for y'all to join me as always. Sit back, relax, and let's see if we can get us some bait to fish with. All right, let's see if we got any. Okay, let's see what kind of bait we have. Those little croaker right there are awesome baits, so they're gonna go in the live well. Oh, got some. Yes. Cool. Oh, I got some good mullet. Heck yeah. Yo, we have dinner right here. These are delicious jokers. Oh, man. Heck yeah, dude. That right there is what you call dinner. Fried mullet fillets and then the backbone. These are going to be good. So even if we don't catch any other fish, I have dinner, y'all. These are awesome. Let me bury these in ice so they stay fresh because that's the key. These are primarily vegetarian or herbivore fish. You can catch them sometimes on rod and reels, but check them out. Those are so fresh in this little bit colder water. Let's throw them on ice. Hey, so we just made it to our spot. We are actually sitting in 35 feet of water with an outgoing tide. Can't get any better conditions than that. In Mobile Bay, have the anchor down and not even the trolling motor. I rarely use the anchor though. But mom already has a bait deployed behind the boat. So let me show you the rig here. This is one of my hand crimped redfish rigs with a seven alt heavy duty circle hook, which today I'm using a four ounce pyramid weight. I'm gonna use the head because that's just a juicy looking bait there for redfish. That's what our target species is. I take that circle hook, I like to go through their lips have that hook point exposed and we're ready to go get that cast out and let it sit behind the boat and hopefully we can catch us a giant. Y'all, as soon as we started, before I even got a cast out, mom's hooked up. What do you think it is? There's no telling right here in this time of year. She had the same exact setup I had out with the chunk of mullet. Let's Show see yourself. what it's going to be. Show yourself. That was fast, huh? Yes. Sharp. <gasps> That's a sharp nose shark. No. You can actually keep those. You want to hold your shark? No. <laughs> okay, we'll uh, get the hook out. So there's our Atlantic sharp nose shark. See how he has white spots on him, like snowflakes? These, you can actually keep one per person per day with no minimum size limit here in Alabama. And they're actually very good eating. But it's his lucky day, so we're going to remove that circle hook out of him and let him go. So I got that circle hook out. The leader's still good. Let's let him swim away on his own. He bled out a lot. There he goes. He gone. Oh, wow. <laughs> they don't take any time. They don't take any time getting back to their uh, back to their home. So those are cool fish. Just a disclaimer. We all know sharks can hurt you. So <laughs> if you're not careful. Let's get another bait out. Well, you have one on board. Was that fun? Yeah. <laughs> Quick. A shark. Yeah. So, <laughs> she's going to make another cast. Oh, that's all we're doing. Simple as that. This mom's a lucky one today. She has a fish on. <laughs> Either that or a bunch of grass and a catfish. Oh, he, he literally went from my bait, pecked at it, and went straight to yours. Oh, yeah. Oh, you have nice. a good fish. <laughs> Do I need to check my drive? Um, you can tie another hair, but not. Ooh. Is that too much? Uh, when you say, "Ooh, No, nah, you'll be good. You got it. You got it. I got the net in case it's a big bull red. He's coming on this side. All right. <laughs> it's a feisty joker, isn't it? What are you? Heck Show yeah! <laughs> You're doing good. It's a shark. I oh, know it's a big sail catfish. Oh a big God. gaff top sail cat. <laughs> it's a big old sail cat, ain't oh, it? Lord <laughs> Those are slimy jokers, but look at the size of that sail cat. It's called a gaff top sail catfish. They are edible and they're actually pretty good to eat. I did a video catching and cleaning them, but uh, we're gonna let him go. Oh, he's heavy. Yeah, he's a he's a stud. You they get big out here. Missed a meal, have you? Uh -uh. These things are so cool. I actually like these. A little bit different than the hardhead catfish. But good job. <laughs> Thank you. Say <laughs> when. Yep, you're good. Be gone. 
<laughs> I got slime all over us. <laughs> Those taste just like freshwater catfish. I've done a catch and cook on one before. Mom's uh, out fishing me so far. Well, when you know, Mom has <laughs> hooked up again. <laughs> what you know? I don't think they're liking my mullet oh, head. It's a head shaker. What do you think it is? A shark? Oh, I don't know. There's really no telling out here. <laughs> That's funny. Out fishing me like crazy. What do you have? Oh, show yourself. What do you have? Thing about this. Bay water. It's a cat catfish. <laughs> Hardhead catfish this time. Ugh. Oh gracious. I like to sell cats. These hard heads are they're, they're cool. They're fish. He swallowed your hook. Oh. You have to put a new hook on, which I have one. So Alrighty. but we're gonna let him go. <laughs> oh, I'm hooked up. It's a head shaker too. Oh my goodness. Wow. This might be the target oh, species. You have one? <laughs> you they sure? Off. <laughs> this one feels pretty big. Hope it's a good one. I hope so too. Pulling it up. That's a, oh, those, oh. <laughs> those shell cats are big. I mean, they feel like redfish, dude. See, these should be called big <laughs> There we go. Thank you. It's a big old cell cat about the same size as yours so there's my first fish of the day oh. these things are i think he's a little bit bigger than yours those things are thick but look at that gaff top sail catfish he would actually make a pretty good meal so if you've never tried one i suggest it today we're just doing catch and release but man are they cool looking critters right there so let's get that circle hook out and let them go one of the slimier fish I mean, one of these slimier species you'll catch. Let him swim free. Here we go. It's time to get all that slime off me and get another bait out. Landed that big old sail cat. So mom is still, I think, four fish. Oh, look at the dolphin right there. <laughs> that just popped up, that was cool. I'm gonna get another piece of cut bait out. Those sail cats really do fight like redfish do. They have weight, they have power, and I think they look cool. So I don't mind catching them. So now all that rig is back down on the bottom with my cut bait to it, attached to it. I'm setting mine in the rod holder and see if we can hook a, see if we can hook something bigger. Hey, so the bite pretty much shut down. A lot of catfish, no bull reds for us today. So we're gonna pull up the anchor, see at the next fishing spot. Y'all, that was brutal out there today. It was windy, <laughs> tide was strong. So we came in a little bit closer in. Oh, there it is. Come on. Come on. Come on. Take it. Oh, he's swimming with it. I have him. Yes. Finally, we got one. Yes, ma'am, please. It's on the side by you. That's a good one there. I might could boat flip them in. There we go. Nice sheep's head. That's what I'm talking about. Fighting the wind, fighting the rocks, and this dumb thing trolling motor <laughs> love and hate relationships with trolling motors on boats i wouldn't i wouldn't have a boat without one though but there we go that's a keeper sheep's head right off the rocks delicious eating fish hard fighter and fun to catch they're like the saltwater bluegill <laughs> with some crazy cheap oh, let's throw him in the cooler and see if we can uh, get some redemption <laughs> yeah let's grab another bait get that back out I like these small shrimp this time of year they don't get bit off as easy let's get this joker down there again that's so fun setting the hook on those fish and pulling them away from this structure it's a challenge but it's fun Yeah, that's freezing. I'm in a t-shirt. <laughs> this one here is being... Oh, there it is. Come on. Come on. 
got you. <laughs> I know, I'll probably be able to boat flip them. There we go, that's another keeper. Oh, yeah, I trust those hooks. Boom, got them. Man, that was pretty, on it? That's a pretty fish. And what's fun is that when you bring them up, when you bring your bait up and you see that your shrimp got bit in half, drop it right back down again because they're hungry and looking for the rest of it. And that's what happened to both of these fish is they bit it in half because I pulled it away too soon. And then they came back and ate the rest of it. And now I have two fish that are about to go. And now I have two sheep's head on deck. Man, these things are so pretty, tasty, and fun to catch. Man, those things are fun. I mean, incredibly fun. And these are hopper shrimp. Oop, <laughs> he's hopping away. But there's a few different shrimp that we have down here and that you can eat and also for bait. And this time of year, you'll see a bunch of hoppers and they have that little dot on the middle of their tail section right there. And they're kind of root beer colored. That's a good wintertime bait. And then you also have white shrimp, which are like in your fall and you know, late summer into fall. And then in spring, you have a lot of the brown shrimp which look like this, but just don't have that dot. The reason I'm telling you that is because if you like using artificial lures like I do, it's good to match your shrimp soft plastic color to the shrimp that are actually in the waters you're fishing at the time. And another thing is these hoppers like high salinity water. The white shrimp, you know, they come out from a lot of the marshes and rivers and stuff, and they can deal with some of the lower salinity. So if you're replacing your water to keep your shrimp alive, make sure you get the right kind of water for the shrimp. If it's not salty enough, they won't survive as long. Just a little tip. I know there's some more info I can go through, but I don't want to bore you to death. So one of my favorite is a 70 SP. It resembles most of the bait fish that's back here. And I've seen a bunch pop up. Oh, I bet that's a bass. I bet it is. No, it's a mangrove. Cool. Oh. Little mangrove snapper. That's a pretty one. Hook had it in his mouth came out. This place back here, I don't keep fish even if he was of size because you can see it's like a oil sheen every time I come back here. I think there's a lot of pollution and runoff. And it's unfortunate to see. You can see how stained all the edge of the grass is and this big sheen, it's just, it's not nice. But hey, we caught a fish. That's always fun. Oh, all right. Yo, what's you? What are you? Another mangrove. Cool. Get up there, man. That's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Really pretty fish. That's a nice mangrove snapper. He would actually measure out to be 12. But I'm going to let him go. I don't eat fish out of this body of water, huh? There's a game trail there, just because what I had mentioned earlier is it's nasty. All right, man. There you go. <laughs> Made a kaplump. That was cool. All right. Try that again. Oh. Y'all, look at all those ducks. I'm over here catching fish and I'm more interested in the ducks. I do like duck hunting. Look at all of them. Good lord, there's like. Look at all of them. This is a nice little trout. Pretty trout. On the Azuri. Let you go. Dang, that was a lot of ducks. Whew. Good gracious, y'all. It got cold and windy, but at least the sun's out. I mean, it's been cloudy all day. Not quite the greatest day for kayaking, to say the least. But I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Wow, the water's up high Whew, and it's cold. 
But like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed that video. And I just wanted to mention that I still have Bama saltwater hats for sale on the website. A few shirts left, a few hoodies. So y'all can go check them out. It's on BamaSaltwater.com. And I'll link that down below in the video description along with all of our other partners. So y'all, if you enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Love seeing the channel grow constantly. It's amazing sharing these experiences with each and every one of y'all. I'm gonna go inside and get out of this cold weather and upload this video for you real quick. So we'll see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. As always, and most importantly, I wanna thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. We'll see you later.